Hello po, I am Dr. Ana York Bondo. I am a pulmonary po and critical care specialist. At nag-video po ako at nag-aapila po to ban rapid testing. So, yun po ang aking advocacy. Basahin ko po yung letter ko po kay President Duterte. Um, dear Honorable President Duterte, requesting for a ban on rapid testing. I am respectfully requesting for a ban on antibody serology testing or popularly called rapid testing effective immediately. Rapid testing is internationally agreed by medical professionals to be unreliable with numerous false positives and false negatives. I believe that the wrong clinical decisions made with inaccurate results from rapid tests has been fueling the rise of COVID cases uh, in Metro Manila. So, ito po ang nangyayari, um, Mr. President, ngayon with regards to rapid testing. Rapid testing for the diagnosis of COVID is inaccurate, unreliable, and has been banned internationally by the governments in Australia, Dubai, and India, among others. They have been found defective worldwide in the U.S., the U.K., and Australia. All medical societies in the Philippines have already agreed that rapid testing should not be used to diagnose acute COVID. Abuse and wrong use of rapid testing in the Philippines is widespread. All of the following are wrong, yet they are occurring daily, perpetuated by both the government and the private sector. All Balik Provincia were rapid tested. Many casinos, restaurants, hospitals, malls require all their employees to undergo rapid tests every two weeks. Big corporations requiring their employees to rapid test before returning to work. This will happen again en mass after the MECQ. Many LGUs and government agencies requiring rapid tests for unclear reasons. Wedding suppliers, photographers, caterers, hair, makeup, all required to undergo rapid tests before a wedding. Ito po ang pinakamasakit. Many hospitals requiring rapid tests before OR, before delivery or panganganak, before chemotherapy, before radiation therapy, and sadly even before admission. At marami pa pong iba. Um, rapid tests is causing much unnecessary financial hardship. Many workers have been placed on quarantine, no work, no pay, for a false positive test. Many LGUs waste time and effort quarantining the false positives. Worse, the false negatives are released into the community to spread COVID again. We are urgently appealing to you, the IAPF and the Department of Health, to ban rapid testing today. It is seriously damaging the Philippines' effort to combat COVID. Additionally, it is imposing much unnecessary hardship on the Filipino people. So maraming salamat po and sincerely yours. Um, ito po yung open letter po natin kay President Duterte. I'm sorry not to send it. I cannot find po the email of the PMS. Um, at wala pong sumasagot ng landline. But um, I will again try to send po. Sa mga nagtatanong po, ban rapid testing. Mal Sa maikli lang hong salita, hindi po siya maasahan. Marami pong uh, false results, false negative, false positive. Um, ginagawa na lang pong hanap buhay at dapat itigil na po. So, umaapila po ako. My name is Dr. Anna York Bondok. Ban rapid testing today. Uh, yun lang po and magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat.